quick intro to TikTok ads. Click campaign in the TikTok ad manager. If you don't have an account, click the link in the video description. Then create button on the left. Next is the most important part. Decide on your objective. For most of you, that is gonna be sales or lead generation. The other goals are useful, but you have to be very careful. They tend to attract robots or people who misclick. The AI does a better job when it has a concrete objective like sales rather than a fluffy objective like reach. With sales, you have two options. TikTok shop if you sell products directly on TikTok or a website if you sell somewhere like Shopify. If you're selling on a website you don't own like Amazon, Shopee, Steam, or something like that, then you likely wanna run something like a lead generation campaign, then, direct people to your product listing using direct messages or emails. If you choose website, you have two options, manual or smart. Manual gives you tons of control, whereas smart gives you freedom to explore AI more. Since revenue is a more concrete objective to train the AI, let's go with the smart campaign. Hit continue. Keep the optimization goal as conversion. This will require installing the TikTok pixel on your website. Clicks or landing page views are prone to attract bots. Set your optimization event as complete payment. You have the option of setting a target CPA or cost per action, but I'll keep that blank. Under advance, I'll set the attribution window to seven days and put the view through window off. I extended the attribution to seven days because people don't typically buy a product immediately after hearing about it. I still think TikTok should get credit for the sale. But I'm not confident in giving TikTok credit just because someone was served an ad that they didn't click. It's possible they didn't even notice the ad. I'll set the event count to every so TikTok gets credit if multiple purchases happen in that week. Target the relevant countries. The options here vary depending on where you are, so you may not see the same countries as I do. Since the objective is sales, it's fine to select every single country. If you're running something like awareness, you'd need to separate geographies based on how wealthy they are. Otherwise, you'd spend all your money in the countries with the cheapest placements. Choose English if your ad is only in English. You can also exclude audiences if you wish, like people who already bought. But this may not be worth your time because advertising to current customers can help with word of mouth and repeat business. Set your daily budget, maybe $30. Note that some campaigns like video views will require a minimum of $50 per day. I run my campaigns continuously, but you can set a start and end time if you wish. I also run my ads all day. Again, you can trust the AI here to figure out the details since you're running a sales campaign. In general, you can trust TikTok's default settings more when the AI's goal is getting sales. Now you have to decide if you want to run Spark ads. These are using organic posts as ads. They could be from you or from an influencer or a partner company. Maybe you identify an influencer with M1 Pro Project or Spark Toro and collaborate with them on a campaign. Set your identity, the profile you want to advertise with. Put your website in here. Generally, you'd run a video campaign, so upload a video here. The easiest thing to do is to hire some UGC creators on Fiverr and test a bunch. See which one does the best job generating sales for your product and pause the others. Check off the video and hit confirm. Add some text for your ad. You could generate this easily with ChatGPT. You can add up to five variants for TikTok to test. You can choose add-ons like stickers or coupons. TikTok automatically generates and tests different calls to action, so you can leave this if you wish. Now hit publish. You can track performance here based on a bunch of parameters like clicks, cost per conversion, cost per click, and so on. On the left here, you can look at campaigns, ad groups, and individual ads. For example, I could go to ads and edit one of these, maybe change the thumbnail for the video, or let's view the data on this ad group like this. Earlier, we created a smart campaign where we never set much in terms of targeting. Let's try now with a manual campaign. Decide if you want the conversion to happen on your website or on a mini website on TikTok called a TikTok instant page. I'll go with website. You can customize the placements if you wish. For example, I'll uncheck Pangle and the global app bundle. 
Placement restrictions are much more important with awareness campaigns. Set the locations and you might set demographic restrictions like omitting teenagers and the elderly. I normally set language restrictions if the ad is in English. You could upload a custom list for targeting. Maybe this is a list you compiled of targeted people or a list of your customers that you want to find lookalikes for. But more generally, you would target based on interests and behaviors. For example, I'll type in marketing courses as an interest to market my courses. Make sure the daily budget isn't too high, maybe $50. You're not always going to run sales campaigns though. That only really works when you're selling something that isn't too expensive and doesn't have a long sales cycle. And the amount of people people who will buy soon is maybe only 5% of your total market. So you might set aside a portion of your budget for reach, video views, and community interaction. Traffic is generally useless because it attracts useless clicks. App promotion makes sense if you're selling an app. Lead generation is what we'll try next in case you're selling a service or something expensive. Let's try a manual campaign so we can control the quality of the leads. Note that we can create an A-B test if we want. Your key consideration is where you want the lead to be captured. A form on your website, an instant form on TikTok, direct messages to start conversations with prospects, DMs on WhatsApp, Messenger, etc., or phone calls. I consider your company's sales process today. What method is generally how they get sales now? Let's try TikTok direct messages. I'll restrict the audience to Canada and exclude teenagers and keep only people who speak English. For interests and behaviors, I'll select purchase intention and go with home improvement and interior design. I'll keep the daily budget at $30. Conversations create customers, so I'll keep that as the goal and hit continue. Here, I can choose a TikTok post to serve as the ad and create an automated welcome message for the conversation. So those are the two major types of ads you're gonna run, sales and lead generation. TikTok is gonna give you data like the cost per conversion and the number of leads generated. But ultimately, success is something you'll track somewhere else, like in Excel or your CRM. That's because TikTok isn't going to have all the information you need. For example, the cost per conversion is not going to tell you the customer lifetime value. It might be more expensive to acquire a customer who ends up buying from you many times per year. Or let's say you sell something that takes a long time to buy, like a house or business to business software. TikTok isn't going to give you much insight into that long sales process. So ultimately, you have to optimize based on your own data, not TikToks. Another key section to pay attention to is tools. This is where you manage your audiences, such as current customers, your instant page, your video editor, product catalog, leads generated, comments, and so on. Analytics gives you insights into your audience, such as their locations and primary interests. This helps you audit who you're advertising to. Maybe your ads are underperforming and you don't know why. Well, you could be targeting the wrong people. GMV Max is an automation option for TikTok shop. If you sell directly on TikTok, it will create ads and campaign settings. It'll optimize your organic traffic.